Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on Friday, September 9th, 2022. So I was in the middle of my ecological meltdown roundup rant over there at Manga Bay reviewing Manga Bay's YouTube video. Oh, uh, the title of the video <clears throat> will having fewer kids save the climate problem solved and I had just finished my review of the video and uh, was heading into the second part of the rant and we had a little un unannounced visitor so anyway but it's actually I'm glad it happened so uh, we're just going to make this a two-part rant because that kind of, that is, if you want to hear my review of uh, Manga Bay's YouTube video, Will Having Fewer Kids Save the Climate Problem Solved, you can find that right next to uh, this one. So what I had suggested in that, what we're going to do in part two, you know, so in that Manga Bay video, not like, you know, a hundred thousand other videos acting like that overpopulation is not the the issue. What's going on on this planet? It, it, it is one of many issues, and it's no bigger threat than I think they said they equated overpopulation with the fashion industry at one set. So anyway, you, you know, all these other ways that you can save the planet and while going right on about spewing uh, all of these little planet nibbling bundles of joy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Manga Bay's uh, regularly scheduled programming, you know, going down their weekly list of environmental catastrophes. This is the week ending. It is Friday, September 9th, 2022. And so what I, we're going to read the headline of the story and what we're going to ask ourselves. So we're going, we're going to introduce the headline of the story without getting too deep. And you're going to ask yourself, you know, would uh, flying less solve this problem? Would some, you know, eco-tourist from London flying less, would that solve this problem? Or would some, uh, you know, carnivore from Ithaca, New York becoming a vegan, would that solve the problem? Uh, would, you know, somebody who lives 40 miles from the nearest bus stop uh, riding a bicycle solve the problem? Or would turning whatever part of the planet we're talking about into a human exclusion zone? Would getting humans out of the planet, if, if humans were extinct, okay, like voluntarily extinct, would we even be reading these headlines? I guess is another way. So we're just going to go without getting too deep into any story. So let's see. Uh, we start out right there in merry old England with talking about how some river uh, I have never heard of, uh, you know, is uh, far more harmful has been steady human development with pollution from fish farms, septic tanks, and cropland runoff all gradually killing the river. Okay, if Sam Mitchell becomes a vegan, would the problem of human development, pollution from fish farms, septic tanks, and cropland runoff be solved in this river in England. Okay, 
in Indonesia talking about the taste for turtle eggs. This is sea turtle eggs. How humans are, you know, one of the biggest threats against sea turtles is human predation on turtle eggs. Okay, if, uh, I don't know if, uh, if uh, Leonardo DiCaprio never took another private jet plane ride, would humans in Indonesia and everywhere else, their sea turtles laying eggs, would humans stop eating sea turtle eggs if Leonardo DiCaprio stops flying, if the aviation industry collapsed, would that save sea turtle eggs or would humans going extinct in Indonesia having no humans poaching the turtle eggs, would that save the turtle eggs? Will having fewer children save turtle eggs? Okay, here is with less than 10 years to save Sumatran elephants, what is being done? What is being done to save the Sumatran elephants? Maybe if the fashion industry in New York and Paris becomes more sustainable. Okay, if the fashion industry in New York and Paris becomes more sustainable, will that save Sumatran elephants or will humans going extinct in Sumatra save Sumatran elephants? The problem with Sumatran elephants is the same problem with sea turtle eggs, is the same problem with the river in England. It is humans. It is the fact that humans polluting the rivers in England, humans eating the sea turtles in Indonesia, humans killing the elephants in Sumatra, had those humans never been born, there would be no problem with that river, with sea turtles, or Sumatran elephants. Okay, now the drought in Mexico. I don't know about that one. That one's open to uh, interpretation. Okay, of course they have. Here is the, uh, tri uh, uh, the trial of this big palm oil tycoon, you know. Uh, Manga Bay being the world's biggest reporter of uh, palm oil. Okay, without humans on the planet, if every single human decided not to breed, humans went voluntarily extinct, is there any other species of earthling on the planet that would be making palm oil? Or is there one species on the planet eating palm oil? Okay, will, uh, you know, I, I'm going through, you know, the lit, will recycling, will recycling your, uh, your single use plastic if there's such thing as that, in uh, Paducah, Kentucky, will that eradicate palm oil off the planet, or will having no children and making humans go extinct get rid of the problem of palm oil? Palm oil is not the problem. Humans are the problem. Uh, a human who is never born will never demand one drop of palm oil. Here is one on mangroves in Indonesia. 
ask yourself the same question will empowering women in Somalia uh, will that save the mangroves in uh, the Indian Ocean will that save the mangroves in the empowering women in Uganda will that save the mangroves in the Indian Ocean or will getting humans out of the mangrove forest in the Indian Oceans save the Indian Ocean? You know, we're still trying to answer the question, will having fewer kids save the climate, meaning will it save the planet? Um, Let's see, we're asking, we're really answering the question, we're letting Manga Bay answer their own question, is choosing collectively to have fewer children really a viable solution to our cl climate change and or resource overuse crises? Okay. Here is talking about oil drilling in the Arctic. Okay. Uh, if, if Hair Bozo Nero has a spiritual awakening and, uh, and declares that deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon is henceforth punishable by death. Okay. If deforesting the Amazon becomes the capital crime that it is, will that mean humans will stop drilling for oil in the Arctic. A human who is never born will never use one drop of Arctic oil. Okay, here's an article about invasive species on, on islands, you know, where it, it's 100% humans who brought the invasives. Of course, humans being the single biggest invasive species on the planet, we need to stamp out. But uh, this is one problem that history has shown can be solved on these very small remote islands. Uh, about invasive species so it, 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 anyway this one is a little more out of the lines but would there be any invasive species on any island if humans stopped breeding okay Let's see, next, uh, talking about, uh, you, you know, this uh, sky is blue story about, uh, you know, indigenous tri, indigenous territories in the Amazon rainforest being put under pressure. Now, of course, the Amazon rainforest is being put under pressure by the Amazon Indians living there, but uh, if, you know, to stay in the parameters of the story, would Vladimir Putin stopping the war in Ukraine? Uh, pulling out of Ukraine, ending the war. Okay, if Vladimir Putin uh, ended the war in Ukraine, would indigenous 
tribes in the Amazon no longer be bothered by the usual host of suspects. Okay, next question. Okay, we're looking at Chinese companies poisoning rivers in Cameroon with mercury. Okay. Uh, let's try to get a Chinese connection. Okay, if some Chinese billionaire uh, decided to move into a tiny house. If, if a, a Chinese billionaire moved out of his 15,000 square foot mansion to this 150 square foot tiny house that you hear being built, would Chinese companies stop <coughs> polluting rivers in Cameroon, you know, gold miners with mercury? Or would Chinese miners no longer having children, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, well, illegal fishing, I think we're getting the uh, point. Uh, here's a story on landfills. This is looking at, a, uh, at this landfill from hell in Dhaka. Can't even remember where D-H-A-K -K is. I'm sure it is a festering hellhole. Wherever the hell Dhaka is, you can be sure it is one of the planet's festering hell holes. So would Sancho Panza giving up chasing chipmunks in the Finger Lakes of New York, would that clear up the landfill in Dhaka? Or would everyone in DACA going to sleep tonight and never waking up, I mean, that wouldn't clean up the landfill, but it would stop the landfill from getting any bigger. Okay. You know, at some point, you can only laugh that this really has nothing to do with the rest of my rant. I just, uh, I guess, is this a funny, do you find humor in this? In Nepal, endangered tiger kills critically endangered Gariel. What does this mean? <laughs> oh, God. And, uh, okay, we're just going to wind up in the Brazilian Amazon. I think we get it blazing start to Amazon's fire season as burning hits August record. Fires in the Brazilian Amazon surged in August to the highest for the month since 2010, surpassing the blazes in August of 2019 that drew global attention that are drawing no attention whatsoever now. On August 22nd alone, more than 3,300 fire alerts were reported in 24 hours, the worst single day tally in the Amazon in 15 years. Researchers say it is still too early to tell how severe this fire season will be, but what happened in August is an early warning. One more question. Would... Would... Let's get one more question here. Would 
Donald Trump uh, deciding to stop eating McDonald's hamburgers and Kentucky Fried Chicken, would that stop 3,300 fires being intentionally set in the Brazilian Amazon in one day? Or would making the Amazon rainforest a human exclusion zone by getting humans out of the Brazilian Amazon be the solution to not having one single fire being started in the most important ecosystem on the planet. Which of the two would, would be a better solution? Okay, anyway guys, this is, this is not complicated. This is quite simple. There is one solution to everything and it's not even having fewer children. It is having no children. As long as one human being is walking this planet. Sorry. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this two-part ecological meltdown roundup rant this week and uh, because I have some folks coming into my Airbnb and I need to finish getting the tiny house ready for my Airbnb guests. What do you think, little dog? I highly suggest you get out there and get your tiny house ready while you still can. Bye, guys.